In my day job, I'm a surgeon. And as a surgeon, I wear a mask like this. This type of mask protects my patients from my germs. I can use it in the operating room or in clinic. It could be a mask like this or a mask like this. But either way, these masks are to protect my patients from my germs. This mask will not protect me from coronavirus for two reasons. The first is that there's a lot of air leaking in on the sides of it. And the second is that this isn't any special type of filtering fabric. If you want to protect yourself from coronavirus, you need a respirator like this. This is an N95 respirator. There are several key features of a respirator. The first is that it forms a very tight face seal. This is very important. The second important feature is that this is a special fabric. This happens to be rated at N95, meaning that it filters 95% of particles that are 0.3 microns or larger. It's very comfortable and I can wear it all day long and breathe in it. What's the problem with an N95 respirator? The problem is that these are sold out. And so if you wanna protect yourself in the N95 respirator, you need to figure out how to make your own. So if you wanna make yourself an N95 respirator, do it yourself, this video is for you. The key features of a do-it-yourself N95 respirator are that it has to be easy to assemble, the supplies need to be easy to acquire, and it needs to be inexpensive. Here's a do-it-yourself N95 respirator that makes a tight seal against the face and has a special fabric here that filters 95% of particles, 0.3 microns or larger, and the mask is very comfortable. I'll show you how this is made. The key things that you need for this project are some soup cups, four inches in diameter is the best, some foam, and some uh, saran wrap. This is a soup cup. Its diameter is just a little bit uh, larger than uh, four inches, about four and a half inches. And uh, the height of this is about three and a half inches. It's important to cut it down to uh, only about a one and a half inch height. So I'm gonna measure one and a half inches all the way around this cup. And then we'll cut all the way around here. And after you've finished cutting, this is the part that you want. We're going to cut out the center portion of this where our filter is going to go, like so. Next, we're going to take some uh, quarter-inch soft-stretch elastic fabric and cut about 13 inches. We need to put a knot at the very end of it on both sides. Next, we're gonna secure our straps on here with a stapler. I'd recommend two staples. And the bottom strap. Okay, next we're gonna use a filter from HVAC, air conditioner filter. This is MERV 16, which has the exact same ratings as N95, meaning that it filters 95% of particles, 0.3 microns and larger. And uh, once I've disassembled this uh, filter for an air conditioner, there's so many pleats in it. There's actually 119 pleats in it, and we're gonna cut our filters out of this. You can see I've already uh, made the circle around for the size, and now I'm gonna cut this out. Next, we're gonna glue the filter in place. I'm using a hot glue gun here. Liquid glue will also work. It's important that the bead is continuous so that there be no air leaks. Put down the first filter. Now I've got this with the microfiber side up, and one filter would be sufficient but just to be safe, I'm gonna use two filters. Second filter. So that's two layers of the MERV 16 filter. The next step is to create the face seal. This is a sheet of two inch uh, thickness foam uh, that I got at Home Depot. I'm gonna measure a strip here that's uh, three quarters of an inch wide and um, needs to be 
11 inches long. I cut the end of this here. And then use a razor blade to cut the foam. And once you're down that far, it's easier to use scissors. Now that you've got your foam cut out, make a circle and uh, hold that circle in place with a rubber band. Go ahead and put it inside of your shelf of your respirator. Get a sheet of saran wrap. Place it over. And I'll put it down in the center like that. And uh, place a rubber band over it. Take the very center of it, cut just a very small hole. Push down. To make it look nice, you can cut off the extra saran wrap. Now that I've cut off the extra saran wrap, I just want to go around and make sure the rubber band is sitting on the saran wrap itself and hasn't rolled down too far. But that's it, that's our completed respirator. Okay, let's go ahead and fit test our respirator here. I'm gonna put it on, get a nice seal against my face. And I wanna be able to test the, the seal, so I'm gonna get a piece of saran wrap here and put it over the filter side. And I cannot breathe in any air at all. And so I can tell that this is uh, an excellent fit on this respirator with a great seal all the way around. There are a variety of materials you can use to make your respirator. I used um, these type of uh, soup cups. This is an end cap um, for a drain plug perforated from uh, Home Depot. Um, and that works uh, well too. This is a the bottom of a carton of raisins uh, that was cut and you can cut out the bottom and that would work just as well. Um, this is the bottom cut from uh, this cup here. So if you're unable to get your hands on one of these N95 respirators, you can make your own N95 respirator that is very effective.